hey guys i hope you're having a great day today welcome to my channel my name is nori if you're new welcome and in today's video i'm going to be doing my three month fentermine weight loss update if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future uploads and also it will mean a lot to me and anyway let's go ahead and get into the video okay so if you're new i'll just give a very quick recap but i'm also going to link below and here somewhere possibly um videos about my weight loss journey so far i'm taking fentermine at the moment and fentermine is an appetite suppressant i go to a weight loss clinic monthly and they prescribe it to me but anyway it, i restarted my journey with fentermine i should say because this is not my first time taking it at the end of june my first month i lost 20 pounds there was a lot of water weight to lose my second month, last month, I lost 7 pounds. The last update that I did last month, I believe I was weighing 241.5. So as of today, you probably saw the thumbnail already, but I'll have a picture here either way when I weighed myself. I weighed 233.3. Wow. <laughs> to say that I'm ecstatic is an understatement. I am so happy with my weight loss so far. But to be honest, this was the toughest month so far of the last three months. It was the toughest because of my life at the moment, how busy it is and many other reasons. But I didn't expect to lose 8 pounds. So I lost 8.2 pounds exactly. And I mean ounces, you go up and down in ounces. One day I'll be 3 ounces less than the other. Depending on what you're eating and your exercise and how much water you're drinking. But based on my weight this morning, I lost 8.2 pounds in my third month. I am super ecstatic about that because because I know the tough month that I had. So, so I know if you clicked on my video, you probably want to know how I lost that weight. And there's also some people who maybe follow my weight loss journey and want to know what I did different. So I'll break it down. I So I take Fentermine in every morning around 8 a.m. Well, yeah, 8 a.m. And then I have my coffee for breakfast. I was doing keto for the last few months, the last two months, actually even before I restarted Fentermine. And and I'm still doing keto style. I, I call it lazy keto, I guess. I guess is what is referred as. But to be honest, I kind of cut down a lot on full on keto just because I realized it wasn't working well for me. So I'm gonna tell you what I do and then I'll explain at the end what I changed or whatever. So yes, I eat low carb. So I just eat, I drink my coffee in the morning around 9 a.m. My pill, I take it at 8 a.m. And then I'll have my lunch between, I will say, 12.30 to 2. It varies depending on my family schedule that day. And then I usually have a cup of black coffee maybe around 4 p.m. And dinner is usually between 6 or 7. Sometimes, some nights I try to make it 5.30, but that rarely happens. Um, but that's pretty much the breakdown of what I eat uh, around the times that I eat. And... Uh, usually I try to work out, but to be 100% honest, the reason why I'm so shocked that I lost 8 pounds is because I, I rarely worked out in the last month. I've struggled a lot with it because my daughter is 5 and she started uh, kindergarten remotely and that has been really stressful. I mean, it's been really positive, but it takes a lot of my time. It's not bad at all. We love it. She's doing great. But I have a 2-year-old. Uh, my husband also works from home, so... I have my husband and I cook for everyone and I'm in charge of my daughter's school. She doesn't do her work herself. She's only five and I sit with her the entire time. So that has cut down my exercising routine a lot. But I also feel, I always mention this, I really don't sit down a lot. It's not like I'm not exercising. It's not like I'm sitting. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm moving around constantly playing with them, cooking and cleaning and, you know, household chores. We take a lot of family walks. We take them to the park a lot and we play a lot in the backyard. So I feel like I'm moving a lot. So maybe that's why I'm burning a lot of calories and I do drink a lot of water. So I believe that contributed a lot to my weight loss, obviously. But I was really surprised because I, the last couple of weeks, I was kind of dreading the end of the month coming because I said, oh my gosh, I haven't worked out much. And I mean, every now and then I would just maybe once or twice a week, not even honestly, I would try to um, run on the treadmill. But when I realized I wasn't exercising much, I decided, okay, let me do something. So I would just turn on music and sometimes just dance with my daughter, 
do something like that. Um, she even has, um, she has gym class remotely. It's so funny. And they taught her a routine, like an exercise routine, and she had to teach it to someone. So to motivate her, I said, you know, how about you teach it to me and we do it together? And that really, really helped because it was actually kind of intense. Like she had to do jumping jacks and a lot of different things, like pretty, uh, a lot of, she was doing a lot of exercise. So I motivated her and got my workout in, but that was the last couple of weeks or so, but it's been really tough to get my exercise in. So that is the first the first point. I am very active at home, like I just mentioned. Uh, ever since I restarted my weight loss journey, I cut out sugar and carbs. But the last month or so, I've been having a little bit more sugar than usual. Um, not that I'm eating sugar or candy or anything like that, but my coffee. Um, I usually have like this sweetener that I got from Amazon. That's I want to say it's a sucralose sucralose sweetener, and. I, I don't know, I had a weird, re not reaction, I don't want to exaggerate, I just, I wasn't liking it, the way, the way it tasted, I felt like I was depriving myself, so something happened in me, I do this sometimes, and I'm so glad I did it, because I feel like that helps me stick to my plan, that when I feel deprived, or like, I'm missing out, or I have to work so hard for something um, that should be natural, because I'm doing, I'm making a lifestyle change, I constantly remind myself of that, I, uh, Recommend you do that too if you're on a weight loss journey. And I told myself, just try coffee with a little bit of sugar. You're cutting out so many unhealthy things. You live a healthy lifestyle. You drink so much water and you're active. So if that's what you like, try it and see. Um, everyone is different. There was a time where I sugar, I didn't need it at all. And I, I really wasn't missing it. But this time I was just feeling like I needed my regular coffee. So I started doing that. I used heavy cream, which is zero carbs. It's high in fat. But that's what I mean when I say I do lazy keto. Because that's high in fat. But I, but I was doing for, I don't know, the second month I think I did the keto coffee in the morning. Which you add coconut oil and butter to your coffee. And also the heavy cream some people add. And I loved it, but I, I was just getting very, very bloated. I feel like I'm talking all over the place. I'm going to try to organize my thoughts. So basically, yes, my coffee, I, I added a little bit of sugar, and I've been loving that. But I only drink that in the morning like that. When The coffee that I have in the afternoon, it's black, no heavy cream, but I add a tiny bit of sugar. It's not too sweet. And that helps me feel, I don't know, it gives me energy. I like it. That's the only thing that I could say that I changed where like I increased some kind of carb. Overall though, I still eat like proteins and vegetables and the fentamine has been working great at keeping me full. My husband eats brown rice for lunch and I, I cut out rice completely, even brown rice. But when I was feeling a little bit sick last month, just like bloated, not sick like a cold or anything like that, just bloated and down. I think it was my time of the month. I, I said, you know, today I need something different. And so I usually cook rice and beans for my family and he eats the brown rice. So I took a spoonful of his rice with beans and I ate it and it made me feel so good, like I needed that. And my weight loss kept going. So the next day, I kept eating normal. I didn't eat rice. And I've done that about like three or four times. And that made me realize that everything in moderation actually works. I used to not believe it. I know it does work. But in my mind, I feel like I felt years ago that if I gave in to one thing, like it's so bad. And it's not bad. It's food. It's feeding you. You know, it's energy for your body. Everyone's diet plan is totally different. So all these things that I'm talking about pertain to me because basically of the keto diet, not even fentramine. Fentramine uh, will help you to lose weight, to you know suppress your appetite. But the amount of weight that you lose depends on if you're in a calorie deficit or not. So that's what I mean. Like uh, brown rice is higher in calories than what I'm used to, but I know how to space it out. Like if I eat brown rice that day, for dinner, I'll usually have something a little bit lower in carbs, uh, like some boiled eggs or some fish instead of, I don't know, like chicken wings or something like that. So 
I did it naturally. I didn't track anything and I noticed that I was still losing weight. And like I said, I lost 8.2 pounds, which I'm extremely, extremely happy with. So yes, I've lost 35 pounds in three months. I am so happy with it. I'm so excited. I'm just gonna keep going. I'll have pictures obviously of um, before and after pictures. I try to have like a different before picture every video because just to change it up, but I honestly didn't have, don't have many pictures of my before. My highest weight this year was like May, June. And I don't have any pictures. Yeah, we were in quarantine at home. I was gaining weight, was not taking many pictures, but I try to have a different picture every time. But besides that, I always try to organize my thoughts before I make this video, but it gets a little bit, I don't know. I still wanna talk. I, I could talk for an hour, two hours about this. So I'm sorry if the video gets, if it's like long, but that's what I wanted to say. If you guys have any, any questions, I do get questions every now and then, and I do not mind if you see the comments. I don't mind. I, I'll go sit down in a corner somewhere away from my kids and take my time answering you guys. If you have a question, don't mind asking me at all. I always take my time. If I don't answer right away, it's because I'm waiting for a time when I have a moment alone, from, alone away from my kids. But I wanted to say, I want to make a QA and a video uh, about my weight loss. It could be about Phantermine, what I eat. I have many videos, which I'll link about what I eat. Um, anything at all. So I wanted to make a specific video to have on my channel in case anyone is um, wondering, you know, because a lot of times I get asked the same kind of questions, which I, I always answer. I don't mind. But if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll make a QA and a video pretty soon because I know I'm going to forget information in this video. I think I've talked for long enough. I, again, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I'll be making a Q&A video. I'll still answer you in the comments, but I'll make a Q&A style video in case, any, in case anyone that ever finds my channel later on has the same question. And I think that's the end of the video. I could talk forever, like I said. I could talk for three hours about this. I like talking about this with you guys because I like to motivate you. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. It will mean a lot to me. Also follow me on Instagram at Nori Loves Beauty and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.